now it's around like six, seven. I feel like there's a sweet spot. Um, like if I get like 10 hours, then it's excessive and I feel like crap, they're pulling day and it's just like, it's counterproductive. But then if I get like two, then it's also really bad. But I would say the optimal for me at least is like five, six. I know I have gone 72 hours without sleeping. So, <laughs> wow. it, it, it was it was pretty bad. Um, you get to the point where, you, like, you subconsciously start losing motor function, and like, most of your thoughts are like, really like rough. Mm. You just can't. <laughs> well, I mean, I get about five to six hours of sleep a night, so eight. What is the average amount of sleep you get in a week? What's six times seven? It's uh, 42. 42 hours. That's yeah. Or well, uh, if I can admit something shameful, oftentimes I'll fall asleep at two o'clock. So 42 or fewer hours. Do you have any tips to people struggling with sleep deprivation? Well, uh, number one tip, and it's not intuitive, it took me a while to figure out, just sleep. And if you can't do that, just give up. I did that. Most of the research indicates that students uh, are supposed to have, teenagers are supposed to have, um, nine to nine and a half hours of sleep. I'm sure that a lot of, of teens could probably get by with fewer hours of sleep than that and still remain pretty productive, but that's like the recommendation for a healthy amount of sleep. Mm -hmm. I do know that my students who chronically don't get enough sleep are not often as productive, um, and they start you start to see impacts with uh, their academic success and their ability to concentrate. Um, uh, what is the least amount of sleep <laughs> I would need in a week to still remain functional? <laughs> <laughs> to still remain functional. Um, oh man. Uh, again, I think it varies, and I'm not a sleep expert by any means. Um, but I think that you can definitely go for a few days without a whole lot of sleep, and you can function. Um, probably not at your best, but when that starts to extend for a longer period of time, um, your body will, will sort of respond by making you sleep. Trent, how many hours of sleep do you get a night? Uh, now I get like eight, but I used to get like one to three hours of sleep and it was just the worst thing. I used to fall asleep during classes and um, pre-calc, or not pre-calc, geez, uh, AP Gov went really bad for me because I kept failing stuff because I'd fall asleep during the tests. Um, so one test I fell asleep and uh, Brie, Brie Bradshaw kicked me in the middle of it because she noticed I was asleep and I woke up with five minutes left to take the test and I'd only filled in three answers. So, you know, I failed it and decided I wasn't going to take AP Gov anymore, so I dropped the class. <laughs>